Wearing a sling and nursing some painful gashes on his chin, neck, and arms, Brian Zuniga is in jail for the third time in almost two years. Pinellas deputies say they pulled him over for weaving out of lane. They say he took off, bailed out, kicked through a fence, and disappeared for a few hours. An alligator took a bite out of crime today. Deputies found him at St. Petersburg General after a gator attacked him as he hid in this swampy area near a water reclamation plant. It's an area Westchester Estates neighbors cherish for its abundant wildlife, including dolphins, osprey, and gators. Most heard of Zuniga's chomp. Anybody who does something that's questionably judgmental about jumping into the water to flee, flee the police, kind of like ask for that kind of response. I just think that's so stupid. Why in the world would you jump in? <laughs> there are alligators in there. You know it, but... You know, I'm sure he learned his lesson. I think next time he might stop for the police officer. <laughs> Gary Morris with Florida Fish and Wildlife tells me the gator attack was likely more a defensive move on the part of the gator when Zuniga got into the water. He says they are more active this time of year because the weather is warmer. The gator is getting kudos. If the alligator had not bitten him or attacked him, he might not have ended up in the hospital, and then we might not have found him. Lucky for Zuniga, the gator didn't make him a meal. Peter Bernard, News Channel 8.